Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Janet Skates and I'm sitting on my front porch today instead of up in my studio doing a little video to tell you about the upcoming Journal with Janet challenge starting on October 1st and running through October 31st. And the the thing is this video isn't just for the for the journal challenge. It's for um, it's for any any time you want a journal. So there'll, there'll be stuff in, in this little video to, to inspire you to do journal pages uh, anytime, not just for October, but, but I will cover that first. So the challenge starts on October 1st. It ends on October 31st. The hashtag that, that I use, that we all use to post and share our work is jan uh, journal, blah, blah, blah. It's hashtag journal with Janet, no spaces. And you can go now and look at the hashtag and see some of the work from the last journal challenge or even the one before, uh, which is kind of fun too. So that's the first thing are the dates. The second thing is you don't need to sign up anywhere. I will be posting each day on my Instagram page. That's Janet Skates Art on Instagram. I will post it and then I'm going to archive the posts into a highlight so you can go back at any time and see all of the, the prompts that I've included throughout the month. So if you can't do it in October or if you get behind or anything, you know, feel like you want to do some of the, the other pieces, you can go back into the highlights and watch them over and over again. So that's where you'll find the daily prompts and, um, and they are just that. They're just a prompt, a little bit of inspiration. Whatever I post is just an idea for you. If you don't want to do that, you do whatever you want. It's, it's mainly about building a daily creative practice. So you, you do with it whatever you want. And um, if there's one that you really like, you can do it five times, it doesn't matter. And you don't have to do every day. If you want to, um, if you want to, to do one page a week, it, or if you want to just do your favorites, it's up to you. This is this is just something for fun, and to 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 get you creating. So um, that's the next thing. It's free. There's no sign up, uh, and it's really flexible. But it's kind of fun because we enjoy looking at each other's works and and what people come up with. Even with the same prompt, people can come up with all different things. So it's really fun. So I want to talk next about what I use to journal with, and you can use whatever you have. If you want to do watercolor in your journal, or paint in your journal, or all markers in your journal, or if you want to mix it up in your journal, whatever works for you is great for me. Crayons are wonderful. Um, I love crayons, it's whatever you want to do. So I'll just talk a little bit about what, what I use. So I brought out a little box full of goodies. So if you don't have a journal, like a bound journal, you can use just pages of paper. It doesn't matter. Notebook paper is really fun to journal on because the lines can be incorporated in your design or what have you. So notebook paper. Um, I have tons of little pads of different kind of paper. This is watercolor paper. It's just one I picked up somewhere. Um, Artistico makes a nice, really smooth paper if you like that really hot press, smooth paper. So I do some in here. You see, here's an example of just a little fun, fun journal page. And this is nothing but paint pen and marker. So super, super easy and you could do it in that. I love these. So these are the little Arteza journals and they come in a three pack and they are five and a half by three and a half inches. And they're just awesome. They have a little uh, band that keeps them together and little page marker ribbon thingy and yeah super fun and the paper's great in those as well so whatever kind of paper you have is fine to use a notebook anything doesn't matter um that's the, the first thing there you can also use a ballpoint pen sharpie marker i use a lot of different kinds of markers so sharpie which you're most of you are familiar with Sharpie has some newer sets out, and I think I got them at like Target or somewhere. I think it was Target. 
Yeah, because actually, I, I think I got lost in the school supply section. <laughs> and I'm not going to school, but I was, uh, I was having fun in the school supplies. So these are the newest colors that I found from Sharpie. And they are so pretty. These are beautiful. So Sharpie markers, that's one. Um, these are Paper Mate. And again, beautiful colors here in Paper Mate markers. So you can see some of these. And there's bright ones too. Look at there, look at these. Yeah, so those are Paper Mate. Um, I have some, these are actually pit artist pens. And I don't think I really use those in my journal so much, but they're probably in my box of everything. This is the kind of box or bag that I'll take with me to Santa Fe because I'm just taking journaling supplies, nothing else. And so I'll gather up the, that kind of stuff so I can create while I'm out there. The Tombow markers, these are dual brush markers. So they have a little fine tip, bullet point tip, and then they have a brush end, a brush tip. So also fun. Arteza makes a set of like 38 colors of brush tip markers. So those are fantastic as well. And then a lot of times people will ask what I use to draw. Let me show you this real quick. What I use to draw the design. I don't always draw the picture first. Sometimes I start coloring first. So I'll be walking you through that. In fact, right after this, you have the video from start to finish of a little floral journal journal piece. So you can watch exactly how I created it. And I think it's this one. I think that's the one that you're gonna see. Some little zinnias. And you'll be able to just start to finish, see how that's done. I think uh, I think they're gonna I think it will be sped up so you don't have to sit there and like watch super slow but if you have any questions you can put them in the comments and if you uh, want to slow the video down I think you can do that too you can always screen video it and slow it down too but these are these are some florals we're not gonna just be doing florals but sometimes I will sit down and just start doodling so these aren't done but they're paid, and this is another Arteza journal. This is one of the uh, one of the ones I showed you earlier. Except this one is, I think, eight by eight inches or so. But sometimes I'll just sit down and I'll just start doodling some pages. Like I don't even know what what if anything <laughs> they are yet. Um, there's one that I finished. They've got a little house here, and here's one I'm working on. This little people, um, and then here's some of the floral more floral pieces. So there's different kinds that we'll be exploring and doing. And we may incorporate fall and Halloween in there too. I don't know, we'll just see. But that's uh, that's the way I work. Typically start with the drawing and then color in. And then sometimes we may color and then draw our design over. So when I add the design though, um, when I add the design, I do that with a Posca paint pen. You could do it with any black marker pen. I just like the way Posca goes on the paper. See, here's some crazy bunnies. Look at these bunnies. I don't know what I was, what I was, but I really like this one. If you look at the purple one, he's actually really pretty. So I don't know, little bunny play there. Um, but the Posca paint pen is nice to to lay out your design in. It just, it just goes on really good on the paper. These are them, they're Uniposca. Uniposca, and this one is the, uh, I think it's the extra fine tip, if you can see that. I have no idea, because I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see either, but that's it. And I use them in black. I also do a couple of pages that you can find, uh, maybe in the little journal video, you'll see some that I drew in pink and then created the whole page with that pink, brown, blue. So you can use different colors to draw your design. Definitely don't have to stick to black. Uh, it just makes a nice outline, but we're open and we will be trying some new and different things. So I will wrap this up. I'll take a couple of pictures of the porch. The garden's about done here. 
because I'm in Oklahoma in the central US and it's been like 100 degrees for weeks now. So my beautiful flowers and gardens, they're winding down and getting ready for fall. And uh, so the yard isn't, you know, the garden's not, not really in beautiful bloom right now, but you can still get an idea of, of my little front porch place. And if, uh, if you want to leave a comment, idea, suggestion, question, put it in the comments below, or you can always uh, email me through my website. Uh, you can connect with me on Instagram at Janet Skates Art, Facebook, Janet Skates Art, YouTube, Janet Skates Art. And if you like the videos, if you like the projects that we're doing together, uh, those kind of things, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you'd like to see more of. And I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Love out.